Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use C 4.5 decision tree learning algorithm to build a decision tree with a simple solved example. This is the data set given to us. In this particular data set, we have four attributes CGPA, interactiveness, practical knowledge, and communication skills. Job offer is the target class in this case. This job offer has two possibilities either yes or no. There are totally 10 examples are given to us. Given this particular data set, in this video, I will discuss how to build a decision tree using C 4.5 decision tree learning algorithm. Now, whenever we want to build a decision tree, we need to start with the root node. Now, the question comes in front of us is which attribute should be selected as a root node, whether it should be a CGPA or interactiveness or practical knowledge or communication skill. To make a decision between these particular attributes, we need to calculate something known as gain ratio. So to calculate gain ratio, we need some other metrics. We will try to calculate each of those metrics step by step. In the first iteration of C 4.5, first we calculate something known as class entropy of the target class that is job offer. If you want to calculate the entropy of a particular given data set, we use this particular equation that is entropy info of whole data set is always equal to minus summation of i is equal to 1 to m probability of ith class log of probability of ith class to the base 2. So in this case, we have two classes. One is known as yes, another one is known as no. So we need to calculate the probability of yes first and then we need to calculate the probability of no and then we need to put those particular values in this equation so that we will get the entropy of this particular whole data set. Now, if you see this particular target uh, labels here, we have uh, seven yes examples are there and three no examples are there. So the probability of yes is 7 by 10 and probability of no is equal to 3 by 10 over here. Now, once I put that particular values in this particular equation, we will get 0 0.8807 as the final value in this case. So seven uh, yes examples are there and three no examples are there. I need to put all those values in this equation. I will get the entropy info of the whole data set. Now, once you calculate the entropy info of the whole data set, the next step is to calculate the entropy info of each attribute information gain, split info, as well as the gain ratio for each attribute in the training data set. Now, how to calculate these particular metrics? So first we will try to calculate the entropy info of each attribute. Entropy info of an attribute A of this particular training data T is always equal to summation of I is equal to 1 to V, where V is the number of possible values of this particular A. For example, if you consider interactiveness, yes and no are the two possibilities. So the number of possibilities in this case will be two. So this summation will go for two times here. Cardinality of AI, that is the occurrence of that particular uh, attribute value divided by the total number of uh, examples multiplied by entropy info of that particular attribute value here. Now we will try to consider one uh, uh, attribute and then we try to calculate this particular entropy info of that attribute. Let us assume that I will consider the attribute CGPA. For this particular CGPA, there are three possibilities. One possibility is uh, greater than or equal to 9. Another possibility is uh, greater than or equal to 8. And the third possibility is less than 8 here. Now we need to count how many number of greater than or equal to 9 is there. So if you count here, this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one and this is the fourth one. So totally we have four examples with greater than or equivalent to nine for this particular CGPA. So the cardinality of that particular CGPA is equal to greater than or equivalent to nine is four over here divided by total number of examples that is 10. That is what I have written here. Now we need to do what? Entropy of that particular attribute value we need to calculate. So within this particular four examples, how many yes examples are there and how many no examples are there we need to count. So if you see here, this is the yes example because we can notice it over here. And when it comes to second one, this one is a no example and this one is yes example and this one is yes example. So there are three yes examples are there and one no example is there. So minus this entropy is calculated something like this. In the previous slide, I have shown this particular equation, the same equation we are using here minus 3 by 4 log 3 by 4 to the base 2 because there are three positive examples are there or yes examples are there minus 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 to the base 2 one no example is present here similarly we will calculate the second attribute value that is greater than or equivalent to 8 here now if you notice this particular greater than equivalent to 8 uh, there is one po possibility here 
this is the second possibility this is a third possibility and fourth possibility out of these particular four possibilities all are s yes examples in this case so that's the reason first this particular term will become 4 by 10 and then this entropy info will become minus 4 by 4 log 4 by 4 to the base 2 minus 0 by 4 log 0 by 4 to the base 2 similarly we need to do it for the other possibility that is uh, less than 8 if you notice this particular thing we have only two possibilities this is the first one uh, and this is the second one out of these two both of them are negative examples here 2 by 10 is the first value the entropy is minus 0 by 2 log 0 by 2 to the base 2 minus 2 by 2 log 2 by 2 to the base 2 here and once you solve this particular equation you will get the entropy info of this particular attribute is equal to 0.3243 here so this is how we calculate the entropy info of a particular attribute now once you calculate the entropy info the next step is to calculate something known as the information gain of that particular attribute which is calculated using this equation that is entropy info of whole data set under consideration minus entropy info of a particular attribute given that particular training data we have already calculated the entropy of whole data set also we have calculated the entropy info of an attribute given training data so we will put those particular values here we will get 0.5564 as the gain of that particular attribute now the second one we have calculated now we will go with this particular split info split info of a particular attribute given training data is always equal to again minus summation of uh, i is equal to 1 to v that is a possible values of that particular attribute cardinality of ai given cardinality of t log cardinality of ai given cardinality of t to the base to here again uh, in this particular case a is the cgpa cgpa has three possibilities that is greater than 9 greater than or equal to 9 greater than or equal to 8 less than 8 here so how many greater than or equal to 9 are there there are totally 4 so this will become 4 divided by 10 log 4 divided by 10 to the base 2 how many greater than or equal to 8 are there again 4 are there so 4 divided by 10 log 4 divided by 10 to the base 2 how many are there with respect to less than 8 there are only 2 this is the first one and this is the second one so the third possibility is 2 by 10 log 2 by 10 to the base 2 over here once you put all those particular values in this equation and solve it you will get the value as 1.5211 in this case so we have calculated the split info of cgpa finally we need to calculate the gain ratio here so gain ratio of cgpa is always equal to the information gain that is already calculated as 0.5564 divided by the split info that is equal to 1.5211 here and once you solve this equation you will get the gain ratio of cgpa that is attribute cgpa is 0.3658 in this case so this is the procedure we need to follow to calculate the gain ratio of an attribute the same procedure we need to follow it for the remaining three attributes now the next attribute under consideration is the interactiveness for this particular attribute uh, again we need to calculate all these particular four metrics one is uh, entropy info gain split info and gain ratio the entropy info of this particular attribute is 0.7896 we need to follow the same procedure whatever we have followed for cgpa so that we will get this particular value after this we need to calculate the information gain so information gain is always equal to entropy info of a whole data set minus entropy info of a particular attribute if i put those particular values i will get the gain as 0 0.0911 in this case and then we need to calculate the split info of this particular attribute again if i put all these particular values i will get 0 0.9704 here finally we need to calculate the gain ratio of interactiveness which is equal to 0 0.0939 in this case once we have done with the second attribute we will go with the third attribute the third attribute in this case is the practical knowledge for practical knowledge the entropy info is equal to 0 0.3661 again we need to follow the same procedure what we have followed for the remaining two attributes next we need to calculate the gain gain is equal to the entropy of whole data minus the entropy info of practical knowledge which is equal to 0 0.2448 next we need to calculate the split info of a particular attribute again in this case there are three possibilities are there very good good and average uh, considering those things we need to expand this equation we will get 1.4853 as the split info for practical knowledge finally we need to calculate the gain ratio of practical knowledge which is equal to information gain divided by the split info which is equal to 0 0.1648 here finally the last attribute communication skill the entropy info of communication skill is equal to 0 0.3609 
and then we need to calculate the information gain which is equal to 0 0.5202 split to info, info is equal to 1.4853 and the gain ratio of communication skill is equal to 0 0.3502 once you calculate the gain ratio for all the four attributes, they look something like this. Now if you compare this particular gain ratio, CGPA is having the maximum gain ratio here. So what we do is, out of these particular four attributes, we will consider CGPA as the root node and then we will start building the tree in this particular case. Now once you consider this particular CGPA as a root node, there are three possible values are there for CGPA. One is greater than or equivalent to 9. Another one is greater than or equivalent to 8 and the third one is less than 8 here. So we need to form three branches in this case. One for greater than or equivalent to 9. Another for greater than or equivalent to 8. Third one is less than 8 here. Now once you notice this particular uh, uh, less than 8. If you notice this particular data set less than 8. Both of them are negative examples. So there is no need to build the tree from here onwards because we got this particular uh, the leaf node that is nothing but the no in this particular case. So that is what I have written in this case. That is job offer is equal to what? No here. If uh, C, uh, CGPA is greater than or equal to 8, if you notice this particular data set again, uh, greater than or equal to 8, this is the first one, second one, third one and fourth one, everything is yes here. Again, there is no need to do the further calculation here. We will get the leaf node as yes in this case. But if the uh, CGPA value is equal to greater than or equal to 9, in this case, if you look at this particular thing, greater than or equal to 9, there is the first one, this is the second one, third one and fourth one. In this case, three of them are yes and one is no here. So we don't get a proper label here like yes and no. So that's the reason what we do is we will consider only that part of that particular uh, data set and then we will continue building the tree here. So here we have removed that particular attribute CGPA and we have considered only those four uh, rows that is this is the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row and this is the fourth row for this particular part of the subtree over here. Now that is what I have written in this particular diagram here. Now what we need to do is at this particular level whether I should select interactiveness, practical knowledge or communication skill as the node is a question here. To identify the best splitting attribute at this particular level, again we will consider this particular data set and then we will calculate the gain ratio for each of these particular three attributes over here. Again we need to follow the same procedure. First we need to calculate the entropy of this particular whole data. In this particular case we have only four examples. Because of that denominator you can see here there are only four here. And three examples are of S type and one is no type. That's the reason 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 is appearing here. The entropy info of the whole data set is 0 0.18112 in this case. Now once you calculate this particular thing, next thing to calculate is uh, entropy info, gain, split info and gain ratio of individual attributes here. So for interactiveness, we will get the entropy as 0 0.4997. Gain is equal to 0 0.3111. Split info is equal to 1 and finally gain ratio is equal to 0.3112 here. So this is how uh, we will get the values for interactiveness. The same procedure whatever I have followed for the in the first iteration the same thing I am following in the second iteration over here. Now we will go with the second attribute that is nothing but practical knowledge. For practical knowledge entropy info is equal to 0 here. Gain is equal to 0.8108. Split info is equal to 1.5 and gain ratio is equal to 0 0.5408. Finally, we will come up with the last attribute that is communication skill. For communication skill, the entropy is again 0. Gain is equal to 0 0.8108. Split info is equal to 1.5 and gain ratio is equal to 0 0.5408 here. So once you calculate the gain ratio for all three, they look something like this. Now in this particular case, if you do the comparison, practical knowledge and communication skill, both of them are having a the same gain ratio and which is maximum among the three here. So what we can do here is at this particular level that is whenever we have uh, the CGP is greater than or equal to 9 either we can select practical knowledge or communication skill and then start building the tree here. In this particular case I have considered practical knowledge you can consider communication skill also there will not be any problems in this case. If you consider uh, practical knowledge we have three possibilities, one is very good, second one is average and third one is good here. So whenever we consider the good here, there is only one example is there and it is of type S yes here. The meaning is we got this particular leaf node. Whenever average is present, you can see here the no is the label. So that's the reason the leaf node is equal to no in this case. Whenever we have very good, 
we have both of them uh, are yes in this case so the job offer in this case is equal to yes over here so once you get the leaf nodes for this particular uh, data set there is no need to build the decision tree further here so this is the final decision tree built for the given data set using c 4.5 decision tree learning algorithm so in this video i have discussed how can we build the decision tree using c 4.5 decision tree learning algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates Thank you for watching.